Brought to you by GTA, your island, your network. In his final State of the Island address, Governor Calvo mentioned some critical issues facing our island and its people, including federal policies, tax reformation, hospital funding, and decolonization. Additionally, throwing out his own proposals on how to rectify them and emphasizing the importance of the people. KOAM caught up with local officials after to get their reactions, like Guam Memorial Hospital Director Peter John Camacho. Governor's speech is very uh, well said. Um, he had uh, wonderful points. And I think closing out where he talked about uh, taking care of the hospital's needs and also the government's needs, I mean, it's all about the people of Guam. Guam Police Chief J.I. Cruz. I think the governor's speech was very, uh, very much depicted um, his sentiments of, of his legacy over the last seven years. I really appreciated how much, how passionate he was about the people of Guam and how everything that he said this evening was about supporting uh, the employees of the, of the government of Guam. And also Dep Corps Director Tony Lamarena. Uh, quite powerful. Uh, you know, it, it brought it home that uh, a lot of the economic issues that we currently face are a result of unfunded federal mandates. So, you know, the governor's on point in regards to uh, saying to the federal government, look, if you're going to require us to follow your federal mandates, you need to assist us. Governor Cavo's words made an impression on GovGuam officials. And despite differences, so did his call for unity among the branches of local government. We even got input from both parties. Well, I think he highlighted that we have a lot of work ahead of us. He called for unity, which is what uh, Guam has been very good at when times are good and especially when times are a little uh, threatening. So, you know, we look forward to, to just uh, working through and uh, continuing to, to be together as one island. I was very happy that at the end he acknowledged the fact that uh, we are going to have to work together to try to prevent us going off this fiscal cliff. It looks like officials are hopeful that coming together as one Guam will bring us through the challenges we face. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Keani Mendiola. Brought to you by GTA, your island, your network.